Hey everybody, so I've gotten a lot of questions lately about uh, my cruise controller programmer here, the software, uh, how to use it, and what exactly are my settings. So I'm going to open up the program here, and if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back to the channel and, and take a look at that video so you can find out uh, how to get the information on what kind of controller you have. There's a link also to the Curtis programmer that I purchased off of Amazon that seems to work great. And I'm just gonna get right into what exactly are my settings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the, uh, the port end into my cart right here with the uh, little clippy spot up. And then on the other side, I'm going to plug in the USB right here into the old rusty trusty laptop. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and open up the program to change the controller or to view the uh, parameters that are on it to actually use the software. And it comes up pretty quick. The next thing I'm going to do is hit this little icon right up here. Hopefully you can see it where it says connect to system. You can also press F2. Oh, you know what? Important thing. Let's turn the card on. Now let's just press F2 to see what happens. Now it looks like it controls my volume. Now let's press F2 and see what happens. There we go. And it went ahead and pulled up model number, serial number, all that information there. It won't do you much any good to be looking at mine. Uh, as I showed you in the previous video, there's diagnostics where you can go through and select from your monitor menu what you want to monitor, do any diagnostics. Uh, you can actually look at the error history for mine. It's got a few errors that it's collected over the last year or so. And the important thing is the parameters. So there's a few notes that I've made throughout this and there's some custom settings that you can go through uh, with like your display metrics, allow the, the downhill enable or disable it. Uh, I really just didn't mess with a whole lot of any of these in the uh, miscellaneous settings because I didn't want to really mess anything up. Uh, the main area that I did go to is the fast mode. And I increased my max speed to 8,000 RPMs. What that is, it, how fast you're going to allow the motor to run at full throttle, or if you give it the maximum amount of throttle, you know, where do you want it to turn off or to limit you at? If you select this, you can see that 8,000 is the top. I think it was around 4,000 something. I don't have it here in these notes. What? My values were and i encourage you to write down any value that you do change just so you know what the factory setting was so that you can always put anything back to the factory settings and only change one thing at a time it really helped me narrow down what everything else is because i don't have any specific information on what any of these things are other than what i've been able to glean off the internet the excel rate forward i landed on three seconds and like I said, I don't know what the original factory settings were. And what I noticed was if I set the accelerate too high, it was very jerky. And if I set it too low, or if I set it just a little bit lower, it gave that nice little golf cart whoosh, like what you would expect out of a golf cart that you rented at a golf course, where you press down on the accelerator pedal and it just kind of slowly whooshes you off. If you set it really high and you have somebody that's on the, the back of the cart, uh, there, there's a good chance you're going to throw them off, and if you set it way too high, it just starts jumping and getting all jittery and juddery. I don't know what, what, what you want to call that, but it, it, it tends to shake, and it can actually like shake the whole cart. It, it's very jarring. And for the decel rate, I left it at about 10 seconds. I noticed that when I put it down a whole, whole lot further, it was kind of like going in neutral, and if I set it really low, as soon as I let off the, the accelerator pedal, or maybe that was maybe that was the decel rate. That could have been the decel rate here. So if that was set too low, whenever I would let off the pedal, it was almost like it was stomping on the brakes where you could really feel the motor like reaching and just grabbing and slowing the, the cart down as if you had hit the brakes. Then these are also broken down into the accelerator rate forward and reverse. And then there's the decel rate forward and reverse. So make sure that you know that you can alter the characteristics of how the cart behaves uh, in both forward and reverse. It's not a, a one setting for both. You have to set each of those individually. So the next mode I went to was the Speed Mode Express. And in the Speed Mode Express, again, set the max speed for 8,000 RPMs. The KP and KI, the best way that I can describe these is 
uh, when you press down on the accelerator pedal, how quick and how closely do you want the controller to try and get to and maintain those speeds? So I set those at about 20%. I think that's about what factory was there, was the 20%. Whenever I set it too high, slight variations. Let me just kind of demonstrate this for you. So if this is your accelerator pedal and you press down, say, halfway on it, like you just stomped it to halfway, how quickly do you want it to try and get there? And then how closely do you want it to maintain that amount of speed or acceleration? And any variation that you have between that, how quickly do you want it to try and either jerk you to get there or kind of slowly whoosh you up there? Uh, that's what those two settings seem to do the most. The KP was the, I guess the most, uh, it was like the master control and the KI was like your fine tuning of that. Uh, I also noticed that the KI, whenever I was going up or downhill, if it was set too high, it almost seemed like it was trying too hard to uh, get to that speed uh, too quickly when going like up or down hills. Uh, specifically when going down hills, that's where uh, it almost seemed like it was trying to hit the brakes on me sometimes. And then if I set that too low, then it would allow a little bit more variation or a lot more variation to uh, how close it was trying to stick to where the, the pedal was placed. So one thing I failed to mention earlier, this control mode select right here. So you see where it has zero right here? Uh, on a, what that's telling the controller is that it needs to follow the programming from Speed Mode Express. If you change this value from zero to one or two, it'll change it to either speed mode or torque mode down here. So if you have, say, like I do, children, and sometimes you know, a young child or a young child, a younger driver wants to uh, experience driving the cart, what I'll do is I'll throw it here into torque mode. And in torque mode, there's a speed limiter, which I have limited to 4,000 RPMs. Just to keep it down, I think that takes it to about 15, 18 miles an hour, somewhere in there. I, I honestly don't know, but it won't allow it to go to full speed then. And then I also have the KP and KI set a lot higher, so any variation to the pedal is felt more by the driver of the cart. Uh, there's, there's a lot of other settings that you can have uh, here in the torque mode. Uh, the speed mode, again, I believe that I have it set pretty much identically to the Speed Mode Express. And there's some other settings down here below that you may want to look into. You can set the current limits to anything less than 100%. So if you don't want to have, say, your regen current limit at 100%, you don't want any re brake regeneration, you can turn that down to zero, I believe. Yep, or you can set it down to five uh, so it won't uh, regenerate very much of your power when you're uh, when you let off the accelerator. You can change the throttle also, which I didn't really mess with this one. The brake, I don't think I messed with any of these. The EM brake control, again, didn't mess with any of these. Didn't mess with the drivers. Uh, if you change motors, like let's say you wanna get one of those uh, fancy purple or green motors, you may need to come in here and change what the typical max speed would be. Uh, if you need any of the uh, feedback information here, I don't even know what feedback is. Feedback type one. You can always look this up online if you really need to know what some of this stuff is. One of the important things that I'm interested in, I wanted to be able to change my battery type to lithium. So in this battery mem uh, menu, this is where you're gonna go in and change the battery information and let me see if I can remember where it is. So you, you may need to change like your nominal voltage, what is over voltage, what is the under voltage, how many volts per cell. So if you change out, say you've got the US batteries and you wanna swap them out for some Trojans, this is where you're gonna go and set what exactly the cells are. And hang on just one second, let me look through this because I thought there was a specific area for lead acid versus lithium batteries. Hang on just one second. If you're in the program, custom settings, come down here to advanced settings. Down here, battery management, here's your type, and you've got your lead acid and lithium batteries. 
and then what type of uh, lithium battery you have. Uh, there's all the different features and settings. This will probably be on your individual battery that you purchase. It'll have all this information that you'll need to program into the controller to tell it how to operate that battery or how that battery is uh, most effectively operated or safely operated. And right here in this option right here, you'll see battery management. You click on type and it's zero for lead acid, as you can see right here, and lithium battery is one. So if I want to switch this over to lithium, first thing I got to do is change this value to one, then come down here and follow the manufacturer instructions for the battery and program in any of the specific settings that it needs to know uh, down here under lithium battery. For lead acid bas batteries, it's pretty basic. Uh, there's not a whole lot you need to do. This from the factory was set to zero. I don't know what that does, so I'm not messing with it. So if you like this video, found it helpful, make sure you smash the like button and be sure to subscribe. Those subscribers are really uh, helping me out. Uh, again, there's links down in the description for the products that I've used in this video. And if you have any questions about any of this or uh, you have any input that maybe you can assist me even to figure out what some of these settings are or what the, say, the KP and KI is, because I'd just be interested in finding out exactly what all these things are. Uh, because there's some very interesting other settings like the accelerator forward, KAFF, B, KBFF build rate. I'm not sure exactly what these are. So if you have any ideas or might be able to help out at all, make sure you drop something down in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it.